gold market has seen heavy declines on more positive news and headline news, specifically when we read things about the U.S. and China putting together a partial pact, when we hear about things in, in the U.K. and the EU coming together and furthering a deal as opposed to a no-deal Brexit. Likewise, we start to see equities boom through the, through the roof. We see bond yields rise. And gold is somewhere in the middle there because it doesn't really have a place in a, in a market that is looking to risk on. It doesn't have a place uh, when you start to see yields going higher. However, it is sort of a quiet, uh, a quiet asset that you can use as sort of a defensive insurance policy. And at this point, we have seen a flush out of longs. We are seeing uh, sellers come in pretty aggressively. But I think a significant level is we got a washout near that 1460 low we saw just recently. If we can push through that, we probably can test 1450, maybe just slightly below. There will be demand for gold again, because while we see these resolutions, we see these trade packs and we see these handshakes, uh, there's always one next coming. There's always something on the horizon, whether it be a Fed policy shift, whether it be a global growth issue, whether it be something, there is always a need to, to own some kind of insurance policy on your portfolio. And that is where gold has really stepped up. A dollar right now is if the Fed is done cutting after October, which is what they plan, the dollar might be a little bit more of an issue. However, the Fed cuts when it has to, not when it wants to. So that could come at any day. And gold, as we've learned through history, can move very quickly uh, at the snap of a finger. So at this point, I'd be a, a cautious buyer of gold. Let's see just how far this can go down. Obviously, trading below 1500 now brings in a new type of seller. And I think the, the longs, the spec longs that have been propping this market up may look to take a back seat and wait and see where the dust settles. I think that is probably the wisest strategy at this point. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and and Twitter and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.